So here's a, a little something that I, I enjoyed making and think has kind of a neat technique to it. So these uh, like canopy awnings uh, have a fun style. So what I do is I make a, um, a cloth sim. So I do an end cloth sim and I drape it and I'll pin areas that need to be pinned and I'll cut it so that it's actually like cloth. Uh, then after that I'll UV it in such a way where that's the color channel and so this is the awning and basically up here there's no movement and down here there's full movement so what you get is a kind of natural blowing in the wind only in the areas so like all the areas that are against the wood aren't moving and all the areas that are open to the breeze have a nice flutter again I think a lot of this is a little subtle based on well you can see it sometimes it feels too subtle so it and it doesn't really read very well on this particular one even though this one is pretty good it's just I don't know I think the it just feels too glowy might be too bright something about it and here's the other awnings that are this was a simp this is the original simple one that's based on models from top-down city in the marketplace um, the design that is not actual models anymore but uh, a lot of times I like to get models um, from different sources um, like here actually here's an example so, so some of these are assets that this started as the um, as the infinity blade like some of those sort but then I had to remodel them well, not remodel them entirely but like th they're too fine for what I needed so I had to like rework them but I like the idea of having something to start from like that oh actually here's something I didn't talk about is my swinging signs so I I wanted to give it some I talked about having life to things so this is pretty straightforward um, I wanted to have like as much movement as possible so let's quick talk about the signs. So if we look at the UVs, you have again the color channel, and then um, this bottom UVs have no movement, and this vertical is the swing. And you'll see there's some some stretching to it because I'm not doing I'm doing this all in one material, and I don't actually I'm not using like a rotation like proper rotations. Uh, I wrote this from scratch, so what it ends up looking like, dang it, that is the instance so what you end up getting is so I want to offset the swing based on its position so that not every sign in the world is all swinging exactly the same so based on the object position I offset the time so that you get some natural swinging let's hide that so you get some of that offset and also you have the gusts where, so uh, let's go back and let's talk about so you still have the I, I built the uh, gusts is that spelled right anyway so I built the gusts straight into this because it's not using the simple wind um, so what I'm doing is essentially taking its local vector for horizontal and a local vector for vertical so that's transforming the vector to local space. Uh, so then a sine and a cosine. Um, so it's, but the cosine is an absolute value because I want it to do this, where the sine wave is doing this. But because that's not perfect, that's not how rotations work, um, you will see some stretching. Like you can kind of see almost a little bit of stretching. But uh, also, yeah, I'm doing so many hacks to make this work. I just like threw it together as an idea and just kind of liked what, how it was going. Obviously, there's ways like depending on the on the use case. But what I did is um, so even on this, you'll get like an offset between the front and the back based on a gradient. And then on the the UVs, you'll see two lines instead of one line to show the offset so here's the offset here's the one of the front and that'll be the back so that you won't have this really uniform swing and it's just again just trying to do things to add life and this sign here is just to prove that it works no matter what way the sign is rotated 
but then I also have a lamp over here that has a, that technique so you get a little swing to the lamp again the idea is just bring as much life to the scene as possible so 